All right, ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is, man. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe for more daily 2K content, and let's get right into it. NBA 2K21, got a little news for y'all today, man. Uh, we got the first look at the park after the patch for our current gen, and you know that's the patch 1.07. We got the patch notes on that. The patch notes my way. I don't give a damn what nobody else say. I'm telling you everything that you actually care about in the patch and all that good stuff. Also, uh, you know, we got a couple of videos from NBA 2K Toots uh, and NBA 2K Lab and all that good stuff. And, uh, you know, we got a few things going, man. So hold on to your seat and don't move your feet because it's the murder. No, hold up. It's not the murder. That's a... Lino! If you make it to C25, that's OG status. I was told you could be anything, just don't be average. Down bad, flat pipes, that shit made me a savage. Start hustling non-stop, don't plan on breaking that head. Alright, so look, man, I know a lot of people have been asking me this, and I don't even know if this is gonna work the right way. It's a little out of frame. But we're gonna get it in the frame and we're gonna keep on riding with it. Uh, a lot of people have been asking me about the uh, patch notes for this joint, man, and uh, let's get this in frame first. Uh, they've been asking me about the patch notes, and more or less, what I was, what I wanted to tell people is, the only thing that I'm seeing is that there's, you know, we got this whole new park looking type thing, and uh, you know, I got, you got me running around, I'm running around and, and, and doing this stuff. To show y'all your first, the first look at the park. This is all that I believe that the patch really, really did. Um, you know, they didn't put out any real, real patch notes, but like, uh, like I said, you know, this is what they got. So, um, we just gonna go with, uh, what we got here and, uh, y'all be able to look at the new park and all that good stuff. But anyway, uh, NBA 2K21 patch notes. Uh, it should be noted that Visual Concepts hasn't released any official patch notes. That's why they did the patch notes my way, uh, you know, with the new update. However, a number of 2K fans have been taking the social media platforms to highlight some of the changes that they observed so far. And uh, as we know, these are the best patch notes anyway, because 2K always comes through and tells us this, this, and that. This happened, that happened, we did this, we did that. And then it doesn't tell you every single thing that they did and then we always end up noticing some other stuff like you know like they'll they'll they won't even acknowledge that fades are an issue but then they'll nerf the face and then people will just notice that you just can't hit them as high a clip they won't even acknowledge that the curvy slide or pushing or the beh broken behind the back is an issue and then what they you know they'll come through and then we'll just notice so these are some of the things that people said that they noticed and now uh, we're just gonna go through it real quick, man. Uh, let me see. Changes to players. They say Bradley Beal, Ben Simmons, Rashawn Holmes, Draymond Green. My God, is one of my favorite players in the league. Alec Schmigali. Yeah, I can't say his name. Kimber Walker, DeRozan, uh, Pandemic P. <laughs> Pandemic P. Now with Braid, bro. Yo, boys, as hell is that? <laughs> Pandemic P. Now with Braid, Hassan Whiteside, and uh, Markeith Morris. So they made those changes. Updates to courses: Hawks, Blazers, Mavs. Hornets, uh, Raptors, Suns, Cavs, and the Thunder. And then, you know, so, th so that's what we got there. And then um, the main thing that, the, that we have, other changes, visual changes made to the park. So we know that there are visual changes made to the park. Uh, and, and you see me running around showing you guys that right now. Uh, an exploit with the college badge uh, has been reportedly fixed. So the college badge glitch. Has been fixed. I'll tell y'all about that in a second. Report of old school meter making a comeback. Uh, that hadn't been confirmed yet, and other bugs and stability fixed it. So the main thing is, it looks like they fixed the college. Uh, let me let me turn my chair around right here, man. It looks like they fixed the college. Doggone. Uh, okay, so that was a glitch in the game where you could get like get your badges in college, and you could get more more badge progress in college and you can just keep doing it over and over and over and over and over and over and over again and you can have your cot your badges damn them maxed out before you even got out of college in um in in current then and that happens a lot it often happens uh you know with 2k because it, like everybody always knows that you you do college and you go through college and stuff like that in 2k20 there was a similar glitch and uh people exploited that and uh you know that's what we were with it uh and now it seems to be gone. Y'all gotta let me know down in the comment section uh, if that's the case, because I don't play current gen anymore. If y'all want me to play some current gen and come out here and, and shoot some jump shots with this dude and get dunked on and stuff, 
just let me know. But I don't play current gen anymore, so I don't know. I mean, current gen, like, compared to next gen, is probably going to seem too, too restricted. If y'all want me to do a Razor with Randoms, tell the two gens, let me know. Um, and now I'll, I'll, I'll get that popping for y'all uh, ASAP. But like I said, this is the park um, and every part of the park and all that good stuff, man. And, and it really just shows you that, I mean, they are keeping up with current gen and doing some stuff, man. And, uh, you know, hopefully... Hopefully they keep you keep it up with you guys and you guys really get to do some other stuff. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. So that's where we at with that. Govern yourselves accordingly. And uh, like I said, man, up next, uh, we got NBA 2K Labs. And they're talking about uh, talking about the badge Slithery Finisher. And uh, y'all already know that this is one of my favorite badges ever. Whoo! Slithery. Slithery Finisher. And they're showing that, yes, it does still let you get by up you get by your guy make layups and all types of stuff like that especially if you're doing euros and all of that good stuff you can get by your guy using slithery finisher and it does work um and it shows the percentage at which you can get by um you know your opponent and all that good stuff so it's still a good badge hold on man y'all ain't see me y'all ain't see me shoot an all, all white brick or that all full white don't y'all get sick of full white i know it's green because i left my hand up and i know i timed it perfectly but you know it is what it is anyway they're talking about slithery finisher and they say uh, even up the hall of fame it definitely reduces the amount at which your shot is contested but what they don't tell you is this with slithery finisher and we're gonna do the rep thing later on the rep expose later on definitely too what they don't tell you is this with slithery finisher you cannot it, it doesn't it doesn't always work and uh, i don't know what this dude was like i guess he just thought he's gonna guard brute by standing in the paint it is what it is you can't it works right but the problem is it doesn't always work because it depends on your opponent to hold his hands up early for it to work if the guy doesn't hold his hands up early, then guess what's gonna happen? You're not gonna get, I mean, slithery won't even kick in. And I think that everybody should know that by now, that if you're, if you're playing hands up defense still, like you're already behind the game. You shouldn't even be touching right stick unless you're fully intent on contesting a shot. Because if somebody uses slithery, right, and you think you're gonna run out there and, and just hold your hand up and you'll get an auto contest, what's gonna happen is you're gonna get stunned. And when you get stunned, he gonna go by you and go ahead and make the layup and make the dunk. But if you don't, if you if they have if you have if they have slithery equipped and you don't hold your hand up, nothing is gonna happen. So it's best in this gen to just run to the spot and then you know then jump or run to the spot and say, okay, he's committed. Now I'm gonna put my hands up or he's committed. Now I'm gonna do this and that. Yes, you do have to use the right stick to try to grab people and stuff like that because a lot of times you know. You just don't have, uh, I, don't, I seriously don't know what this guy was thinking, but you know, it is what it is. I, I wish I had players like that, but they, they want to crowd me from the jump. But, uh, you know, it's it's best to try to play good position defense in this gen. You're not going to be able to just stand on the rim and do what you want to do and think that it's going to be all good. It's just much better to press Y than to hold your hands up unless it's on a jump shot or something like that. Or unless you got to the spot late and you're doing a last ditch effort to try to do it. Because, like I said, using using that, uh, that right stick to contest, uh, unless it's a jump shot or it's an, uh, unless you know something like that it, it's just not the best thing to do uh up next we got my guy nba 2k toots talking about the different body types some people think the different body types impact the game i can tell you that they really don't impact the game it's just they're purely visual i don't know like people think they got a big a bigger hitbox i think we got a wire frame hitbox or whatever yes i am the master i am mr mid-range a lot of people can't shoot mid-range in this game if i'm shooting one it's probably gonna be good but uh you know and i got my dude to quit the match this dude said y'all y'all got me messed up y'all think i'm gonna stay out here with this but um like i said Sometimes the big greens. Look at it. I got the screens right and everything. Uh, some people think that that using different body types do different things, but it, it really doesn't. And a lot of people, uh, man, he's just proving that and showing you guys that. So go check that video out. And a lot of people think that that you can set better screens and get more body contact and stuff like that. The bigger you are, I think that uh, we don't have a true boxy hit box. I think we got a wireframe hit box, which means that no matter how big your character is everybody has the same size hitbox i can't prove that and uh, a lot of people swore by it but i always i always have gone with a defined body type y'all already know that man i already go you don't know why you know what I'm saying? i always go with a defined body type because that's what i that's what i got in real life and uh that burly even though you look big as hell with burly i have not found that i get more contact or anything like that 
uh, when I go burly or when I go with the bigger body types and stuff like that. So, you know, it just is what it is, man. Uh, y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section, though. Do you think y'all get better animations with burly and all that, or do you think you get better animations with the regular body type? I don't know. But y'all y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section. Are you still on current gen? Are you on next gen? Which one do you like better? And uh, I'm going to holler at y'all next time. Till next time. It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK, the People's Champ. Guys, please.